One time, a bunch of hip hop rap folks. This okay. was. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say that. Who wrote this? Hey guys, welcome back to Saints and Scripted. Hey. It's me and Sabrina. Once again. Mean Sabrina. Do your parents <laughs> ever say that to you? Don't say mean Sabrina. Sabrina and I. Yeah. It is I and Sabrina. <laughs> Anyways, today we're going to talk about um, this article we got from the third hour by Amy Carpenter. It came out uh, about four years ago in 2019. Yeah. 11 missionary stories that are kind of crazy. That are way funnier than they should be. Way is the funny. title. Or is it so funny? They're the funniest yeah. missionary We haven't stories. read them though, so we're going to react and it's see fresh. if we actually find them funny or if we can relate or something. All right. But yeah, you want to read the first one? Yeah, we got we got the first story called Each Rat That Touches Us For Good. I served in the Philippines, and at one time a rat crawled out from underneath the portable washing machine. The machine was running as we taught. That was next to our investigator. The rat proceeded to die at my investigator's feet, and when she saw it, she's super skinny, toothless old lady, she literally levitated in the air with a shriek. <laughs> it was hilarious. And my companion and I is saying, Each Rat That Touches Us For Good from the hymn book. E what? <laughs> That's not a song in the hymn book. <laughs> each is supposed to be each blessing. I don't know. I don't know that song at all, but like the one that they're referencing. That's funny a though. Rat. All right. Yeah, I would have levitated too. Okay, this one says when someone bought drugs during my prayer. One time, the Relief Society president asked us to go visit a less active sister in our ward. She didn't really preface the visit. She just said she needs love. So we set up an appointment, and when we got to her apartment, she invited us in. We sat down to share a message, so I started to say a prayer. About three seconds into the prayer, I was hearing her talking, so I opened my eyes to see what was going on, and she was on the phone. I kept praying because what else was I supposed to do? One sec, Heavenly Father. Then she got up and walked out the door. I quickly ended up ended praying and looked at my companion. We were super confused and pretty unsure what to do. Then the woman came back and said, sorry. She sat down and said, holding up a brown paper bag, so glad this stuff is legal now. <laughs> That was the first and only time I'd ever had someone buy drugs while I was praying. <laughs> so glad this is legal now. <laughs> oh my goodness. I was hoping that there was like a, I was hoping there was like a language barrier and that yeah. maybe she didn't know like that she was going to pray or whatever. But that's no, that so sounds like that was English. Um, the next one is called, I can't help falling in love with you, but it's crossed out. I can't help falling through your coal chute. Um, I knew this elder that went to Sweden. Sweden. Um, he knew no Swedish, but learned just to introduce his senior companion at the door, and then his senior would just take over. Midwinter, a lady answers, and the new elder does this thing, does his thing, but when he turns around, his senior companion is gone. He slipped on the ice off the front landing and down the coal chute <gasps> into the basement! He came up inside by the... Oh my gosh! That is, is that really... That's wide enough for a person? Yikes. Jeez. And just comes up, he's like, hi. Hey, you calling for a miracle? <laughs> when your mission turns into American Idol. Oh, no. My companion and I had contacted an older woman, probably in her 80s, and went to her apartment in a retirement community for our first lesson. We sat down in, front, in the front room and noticed a karaoke machine. The ones that look like the big stereos people had in the 2000s with the little screen for the lyrics. <laughs> she told us that she wouldn't let us give her a lesson until she showed us her unique singing style and then went straight into her karaoke version of Joy to the World. Not the Christmas song, but one about a bull frog i'm confused um after complimenting her own performance she then informed us that she wouldn't listen to our lesson unless we each performed a song on her karaoke machine we tried to explain that we don't even listen to music other than religious songs uh, that's kind of I was I get, whatever. I was okay and probably offered to sing a hymn instead but she was adamant we decided it was a means to an end situation and conceded as a non-singer i think an old lady is probably one of the three people who i've ever heard me give a solo give a solo vocal performance which was hey jude by the beatles Crazy Heck ending yes all. that sounds like a party to be honest i'm glad you <laughs> took up the offer to sing is that yeah dude 100 percent would have done that just to like hey yeah, i fun. want to show you that we don't listen love to you. anything but christian and the hey you what a good one <laughs> yeah that's a good one I just, well, um, nah. okay the, but the thing that i re that i remembered I'll tell this so fast, though, is that one time we visited this family and moved to a new ward. We were, like, whitewashing. So me and my trainee never met anyone in the ward before. These people were so excited to have us come. So we come, and she, first of all, like, a lot of people, I guess, like to drink, like, the fake coffee stuff. And so she gave us some of it. We didn't know it was fake coffee. We're like, we don't really want to drink this. She's like, I'm not going to give you coffee. She was really offended. And we're like, okay, cool. Anyways, um, but then she made us sit down and um, watch her play five songs all about 10 minutes long on her accordion that's pretty sick 
And then we're like, all right, like we actually have to go. And she, and then they were really offended that we were not going to stay there longer than an hour. And they never, ever talked to us again. Wow. Ever. Like, hey. we see them at church, we wave at them, they ran away. So They really wanted you to hear the accordion. Well, we did listen, right? But then we had to go, and they were just, like, really mad that we had you to go. You couldn't stay for a three-hour accordion concert? No. What kind of a missionary were you? I don't know. Okay, Mo Tires, Mo Problems. One time, a bunch of hip-hop rap folks. This okay. was... <laughs> <laughs> you can't say that! Who wrote this? I mean, whose story was this? You can't say that! We don't, we don't know whose story was. <laughs> This was in Long Beach near Snoop Dogg's recording studio. They were filming a music video, and my companion and I were riding on our bikes. My companion's front tire got stuck in a drainage grate, and he flew off and crashed, and then I fell after him, and the entire crew stopped in the middle of the shoot to stare at us. So great. <laughs> those those hip-hop rock fo- rap folks. Oh, man, I just... I... Snoop Dogg type. Feeling and sounding like death. Um, we were at the home of some new converts in Uruguay, teaching them how to do family home eating. Well, while we were there, I started to have some stomach problems. The whole family was in the living room, and the only bathroom was located immediately adjacent to the living room. I oh, yeah. Going. Oh, yeah. The bathroom didn't have a door. Oh, no. Just a plastic curtain dividing the bathroom from the living room where the family There's was. no sound on it. Things were so bad that I had no choice but to use the bathroom. When I went in the bathroom, the family was noisily playing a game. But as soon as the noises from my problems started, it became dead silent. After about 15 of the most awkward seconds of my life, the mother of the family quiet said, Pobre elder, which means poor elder. Try to imagine what it was like coming out of that bathroom. <laughs> hey, at least she was nice about you. Like, I ended Kipena. <laughs> I get that for every single person, a loud bathroom experience is, like, one of the most embarrassing things ever, but every single person has probably had at least one loud bathroom experience, and why can't we just let it go? You see what I did there? Uh, (laughs) All right, the dark side of the moon. You gotta sing it like what he does in the song. It's because it's Mulan. We'll see if it's about cows. Probably not. Probably not. (laughs) I don't know. Okay, I served in St. Louis, Missouri. I'm pretty sure I saw every body part on my mission. During this particular story, I was about seven months out, and I was serving in the Ponduct? Ponduk? Podunk. <laughs> the Podunk town of Missouri. My companion and I had planned to go contact a potential investigator we found in our area book. She lived in this tiny apartment complex that was notorious for crazy people. I love those. <clears throat> well, we knocked on her door, and this really big, tall guy is standing on the other side. We started to explain who we are and where we are looking for, and then out of nowhere he says, If y'all don't leave, I'm going to show you my naughty word for butt. <laughs> I turned <clears throat> my turn to my companion, and when I look back, He's turned around, bent over with his pants dropped. He was mooning us. Okay, so it was about mooning. <laughs> mooning, right? The only thing is, <clears throat> the only thing we could do is laugh. I burst out laughing, grab my companion by the arm, and drag her away. I'm not sure what happened to the potential investigator, but Wait, I'll never forget that moment. Those two sisters grabbed her arm? Oh, that's so funny, but so terrifying at the same time. I'm <sighs> glad they took it. Like, they were just like, <laughs> they just left. This is a really strange title. I'm kind of scared. Anymore. Okay. When they have a dirty addiction. Literally. Oh no, they're gonna eat dirt. Okay. We were teaching this woman and everything was going great. She loved lessons, went to church, kept all of her commitments. After a lesson about the word of wisdom, avoiding addiction, agency, etc., she said something like, Well, there is one addiction I should probably tell y'all. I was heartbroken. <laughs> I'm scared. Of course, this would happen just when she was making such good progress. I internally started preparing myself for the worst. It's dirt, she said. Chewing on gravel, licking rocks, and eating dirt was her addiction. My poor trainee didn't know what to say for the rest of the lesson, neither did I. To be honest, we checked with the mission president later to be sure there was nothing drastic we needed to do. Yeah, she, like, just, she just needs to go get signed by my strange addiction. Yeah, this is TLC right here. We're like, <laughs> I love dirt. Yeah. Okay, guys, those are some pretty interesting stories. Um, if you have any of your own interesting stories, be sure to leave them I down mean, in the comments. I mean, I feel like every single person has a long list. Like, if you're in a group of people who have all served missions and you start talking about crazy oh, stories, yeah, just, everyone's crazy. like, oh, something like this happened to me. You one like, up each other me. every oh, yeah. time. Everyone always one up each other. What is with that? I know. Anyways, but yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed this. Um, maybe you thought one was funny or you thought of something that was funnier. Let us know. Thanks yeah. for listening. See you guys. Bye.